Hello to everyone out there in the internet. This is uh, World Cinema Reviews, and I'm Frank the Vamp, and I'm here to talk about uh, the movie Three Extremes. Uh, now, this movie is was made on 2004, and basically it's three short stories all put together. Uh, this is in the tradition of Creepshow, The Twilight Zone, and several other films that they, they sort of just put these stories from different directors. In, in this film, I, I chose it to talk about because, you know, it, it's just awesome. Two things, you know, it's just awesome. It's an awesome film. And it kind of represents a little bit of three different cultures. Um, they have a Chinese director, a Korean director, and a Japanese director. And um, just to sum it up, you know, to, to give you a general knowledge of, uh, of what each um, culture brings to the table as far as horror. Uh, Chinese, uh, they tend to be very traditional. Uh, there's, you know, they have, uh, their horror films are just copy that, just copy that. It's, it's a lot of tradition, a lot of legend, a lot of mysticism, a lot of religion. Uh, did you know that, uh, that there's a festival where people leave food out for hungry ghosts? This is you know, a true story. You can make a horror movie, and in fact, it has been done about that subject. Uh, in fact, they, all kinds of things, you know, if a hungry ghost uh, was evil, uh, can actually resort to killing and all sorts of, sorts of legend. Uh, there's also another legend about burning money. Uh, you know, there's hell money uh, that when you burn and you give it to your ancestors so that they can live a good afterlife. True story. Uh, very creepy Chinese horror. I have a lot of respect for it. Uh, Korean horror, on the other hand, completely different. It uh, borrows some things from America, I think, but it has their own unique style and it's really really gory uh, if you're if you like horror with gore in it you like Korean films and sometimes they go to big extremes and and it's awesome it's fun and I like their gore because it always has a purpose uh, you know I always said to myself and said to other people that know me I dislike horror movies that just do horror just do gore for the sake of just shock value no, I like. Does it have? I like gore as long as he has something good to tell about the story. Now, finally, uh, the the Japanese. The Japanese is all about the supernatural. Um, Juon, the Grudge, uh, Ringu, uh, the Ring, uh, just awesome supernatural. So creepy as hell. Awesomely interesting. Great stories. Psychologically. You know, thrilling, creepy. Uh, I just love Japanese films. You know, Japanese horror films are awesome. Well, I just love all Asian horror, all Asian cinema, um, and you're gonna see a lot of that here. I'm a big fan, and uh, one of my best friends. You know, shout out to Kenny, my friend, and he, you know, he's a big. He opened up my understanding of a lot of Chinese things. I don't speak. Um, you know, any of the Asian languages. So I speak a little bit of Chinese, just a tiny bit, uh, not enough to to carry a conversation. But I, you know, it it got me started on really watching and seeing these films, and I, I can't get enough of them. Well, onto onto this specific movie. Now, there's three directors, and let's start with the first story. Uh, it's the first story is called Dumpling. And it's directed by uh, Fruit Chan. And um, Fruit Chan, uh, I don't know a, a lot about. Uh, I know he's a very prolific uh, director, directed a lot of TV um, in China. Uh, but what I do know is that this is a. Just let me tell you that this is the favorite of the three stories. It's so creepy, so awesome. It, it stars. Uh, Miriam Young and Bei Ling, and the plot is basically you got this aging actress. Uh, she's worried about losing her husband, worried about losing money and movie roles because she's getting old, 
she's losing her charm, her beauty, and uh, she she wants that to stop. So she goes to see this woman who pretty much turns out to be a witch, where she has this uh, special food, okay? Uh, and there's something in these dumplings which I'm not going to reveal what it is, um, but just I'm just going to tell you one thing. Don't eat before watching this. Um, just give you a small warning. Because I don't know what, you know, I don't know how you're going to react. I know how I reacted, and I was uh, both uh, grossed out, but at the same time I was, uh, I was thrilled. You know, it, the movie really shows that what, that this actress will go to such great length to acquire this special uh, ingredient and um, it's it just one other thing that is great to mention is that the shock value of this is blew me out of the water there is one scene at the end that is so disturbing that I, can, I can't well two things two reasons why I can't talk about it I want to spoil it for you uh, but it's just disturbing in fact it may never leave your head but I like that kind of stuff like I'll never forget dumplings and uh, it's one delicious entree that you just, you just don't want to miss. Um, now on to the second story. We got Cut. Cut was directed by Park Chan Wook. Now, uh, if you don't know who he is, he's a master. Uh, he's, he's directed the Vengeance trilogy, uh, Sympathy for Mr. Vengeance, Oh Boy, and Sympathy for Lady Vengeance. Um, you probably heard more about Oh Boy. And Oh Boy is a masterpiece. That film is so awesome. It's such a Greek tragedy, but, but told in a Korean setting, in a modern setting. And uh, it, it's you just don't know how to feel at the end of Oh Boy. And it's such such thrilling, such impacting, such a, an, you know unbelievable film. You just got to see it. But that's another review that I'm going to do later. Uh, but... As, but as far as Park Chan Wook, this guy it's amazing. He he loves to give you these intricate stories that are so like you don't know where he's going with it. You just don't know. You just go in there. You you just you just say Park, dude. You just tell me what you know what I'm gonna see and then he tells you one thing and you get the other and then one, and then he gives you a giant shock and man it's like shock therapy uh, awesome guy he doesn't disappoint in cut first he, he he does the switch and bait with you once again he does something great starts with a, a vampire you know gruesomely eating someone and you think oh boy we're gonna see a vampire film that's the second story that's gonna be awesome but it's not like that at all, you know. They, you know, turns out that this guy, a director, walks in and says, "Cut, cut, cut!" And you know, they reveal that it's a giant movie set and that they're making a movie about vampires. And the real plot uh, goes into this crazy extra that uh, kidnaps the director and the director's wife, and this guy wants the director to do something for him. I'm not going to reveal what that something is, but it's extremely horrifying what he wants to ask. But the guy refuses, so the wife has got to pay. And the wife, basically, there's, um, she is covered with strings all over her body, you know, and she plays the piano, so she's like, propped in front of a piano and the kidnapper is saying if you don't do what I want you to do I'm gonna start chopping one of her fingers every five minutes or so something like that and, <laughs> and I can't put my finger on it but that's uh, pretty creepy and uh, it's just something that uh, you just gotta see to believe the ending doesn't disappoint and uh, Man, Park, awesome. Uh, now, let's go into the third story. We got Box. Box was director, directed by Takashi um, Mike. And Takashi, this director, it's really famous, has a cult following in Japan. And Takashi 
basically what he does is that uh, he gives you violence and gore. Um, he's extremely famous for his Jakuza movies and man you know if I don't know I don't know how to describe it you know have you seen some gory Japanese films have you guys ever seen Tokyo Gore Police or you know something like that okay and um, the you know it's such a great great uh, awesome uh, film that uh, you know, he makes just so, so awesome films, and this one doesn't disappoint. Um, let's go on to talking about the plot. Uh, so this stars uh, Kyoko Masegawa and Atsuro Watabe, and it's about uh, uh, this girl that has nightmares. And in her nightmares is her s sister, who may or may not be with us anymore, and she imagines that uh, some remains that could be or could not be hers, or it could be her sister's, buried in the snow. And um, basically, this is the tale of two sisters uh, that um, going through some very traumatic experience. They grew up performing in a, in a Japanese circus. And uh, there is a forbidden love triangle. Um, I don't want to spoil it, but uh, the visuals in this are creepy you know once again think about um, you know the you know the ring things like that the visuals the the, the suspense the thrilling climax uh, perfect awesome um, overall what do I think about this film you know this film it's an awesome introduction if you haven't seen a lot of Asian cinema this is the one to do uh, you know, don't, uh, I can sincerely say uh, that uh, you really, really have to see this film and uh, you will not be disappointed. Um, one last comment about dumplings again. Uh, don't eat dumplings <laughs> before you eat this. <laughs> I just, I have so much joy for that movie. You you may not like me after watching this because you may not like this movie, but I hope that you respect the fact that these are three awesome directors. Uh, oh, last uh, side note, side note. Uh, Takashi Miike uh, directed one of the master of horror uh, installments for Showtime, uh, I believe, and he is. Um, installment was so graphic and so intense that did not air in Showtime. Uh, you can still find it on the DVD if you buy, buy the whole Master Horror series season one, I believe. Uh, I think it's season one and 100 percent, and you can still see it. But uh, once again, that shows you how hardcore Takashi Miike is. So, so you got style, you got gore, you got. Uh, atmosphere you got awesome cinematic in these three films man all rolling to one watch this film um, but uh, let me tell you it's gonna disturb you so I hope though I hope this gets you excited about watching more Asian cinema if you like it you know please tell me about it if you didn't like it tell me about it as well you know, I respect your opinion, and this is just my humble opinion. Uh, take care, guys, and uh, have an awesome day.